All right. So now this one, it's wanting the hydrogen or the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay. Remember the brackets mean concentration, molarity. So the molarity of the hydroxide ion concentration is what it's asking me for here, based on my calculated pH. Okay. So to do that, we need to um, do a little calculation. Um, we have the pH, but we need to the, we need to get to the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay. So we'll use a little map. Um, and it looks like this. Okay, this um, is the uh, general map for anything that you might need to use. Um, and it will answer our questions for this one as well. Okay, any pH conversion type question you can do using this map. All right, so here it is. This is where we're starting we have a pH. We want to find the pOH. So first we're going to have to go to pOH. Um, I, I, I think I said the pOH. We, we want to find the hydroxide ion concentration. So first we're going to have to find the pOH. Then we're going to have to find the hydroxide ion concentration from the pOH. Okay. So to go from pH to pOH we need this relationship. Okay? When you add the two together, it always equals 14. Okay? POH is um, uh, is 14 minus the pH. Okay? If you just move that pH over there, POH is 14 minus the pH. So in this case, if pH is 2, 14 minus 2 my pH must, my pOH must be 12. Okay? So now the question is, how do I get from pOH to the hydroxide concentration? Okay? We saw how we went um, uh, this way from hydrogen ion to the pH. That's going uh, like this. Negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration gives you the pH. And likewise, the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration gives you the pOH. But I have the pOH and I want the hydroxide ion concentration. So what I need to do is take that same relationship, say that pOH equals negative log of the um, hydroxide ion concentration, and we're just going to solve this for the hydroxide ion concentration. So first we're going to move that negative uh, over, and it'll be negative pOH is the log of OH minus. Okay? Now I need to get rid of that log. And the way I do that is I take 10 to the power of both sides. So 10 to the minus pOH equals 10 to the log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Well, 10 and log are opposites, they're inverse, and so they end up canceling each other out, and I have hydroxide ion concentration equals 10 to the negative pOH. Okay, so what that is going to be for this case is 10 to the negative 12. Okay, that's my uh, hydroxide ion concentration, brackets mean concentration in molarity. Okay, so 10 to the minus 12th molarity, or we could say it's 1 times 10 to the minus 12th molar. Okay, I write it like this because the times 10 to the power of in the computer is represented by an e. So 1 e to the minus 12 is how we're going to put that in to the computer. All right, so let's see what, uh, how that goes in here. 1 e to the minus 12th, and uh, the e doesn't have to be capitalized. It'll work either way. Click submit, and then calculation correct. Okay? So then uh, you click for the next 
the problem or you can just scroll down to where it is you notice um, it is giving me points for those and now it's asking what is the calculated pH for my first dilution okay so what was my dilution um, in the first place well it was a 10 to 100 um, part dilution okay so I started out with 0.01 molar and um, and I took uh, well let me just write this as moles per liter okay and I took 10 uh, to 100 okay now I took 10 milliliters to 100 and diluted that to 100 milliliters but um, we can just say the millis will cancel and I'll write it like this so that it's in the same units there okay um, and so we have 0.01 times 10 divided by 100 okay that's the same as just dividing that by 10 and I get 0 0.001 okay um, still moles per liter okay another uh, way we can do this um, you can use the formula m1 v1 equals m2 v2 okay molarity volume and then this would be your diluted molarity and volume so we want to know what is my diluted uh, molarity okay so I put in my initial molarity which would be 0.01 molar and my initial volume how much did I take of that well I took 10 uh, milliliters and then this is what I want to find and here I put in how much did I dilute it to what's my diluted volume well it was a hundred milliliters okay so you can see those milliliters they will cancel each other out you know I, I could have done that actually just put put the milliliters in there and then um, and then they cancel out that way and you'd be left with moles over liters okay um, I don't want that to be confusing you can convert it if you have to but the um, the main thing this and this are the same thing molarity times the volume um, so 0.01 times 10 we see that's what we did and then we're gonna have to in order to solve for m2 we have to divide both sides by v2 okay so that's what we did there uh, so however you want to do it whatever works for you you'll end up with the same result okay at that point we're right back where we were we take the negative log of this and we get the pH um, I'm not going to do that. You have uh, the previous example uh, to look at for that. Instead of 0.01 molar, it'll be 0 0.001 molar. Okay? Um, I think uh, that should be helpful to you in solving these problems.